Several senators demand full disclosure on President Rodrigo Duterte's health after the chief executive went on a four-day rest that fanned rumors about his physical condition. Detained Senator Laila de Lima says the public must know the truth about Duterte's state of health because it is a matter of public interest and national security. De Lima says the public does not need this kind of uncertainty at a time when the AFP is waging a war against terrorists in Marawi. Duterte has been out of the public eye since Monday, Independence Day. He skipped his first Independence Day celebration and had rest time for the next three days due to fatigue from his brutal schedule. Senator Ping Lakson says the president's health is a matter of public concern. Lakson says the public would surely understand the kind of stress Duterte is going through in view of the Marawi crisis. Senator Kiko Pangilinan says that while he accepts the official explanation that the president needed to rest, Malacanang should be transparent about his medical condition, if any. The Commission on Audit says the country's cramped jails had to accommodate more inmates in 2016 amid the government's crackdown on drugs, resulting in an overall 511.9% congestion rate. The 511.9% congestion rate as of December 31 last year is a significant increase from the 364.7 rate in 2015. The COA says the increase in drug-related cases, lack of judges, postponement of hearings, and slow disposition of criminal cases contributed to the surge in jail congestion. Government jails have a holding capacity of at least 20,700. But as of 2016, facilities are holding more than 126,000 inmates. Advertising agency McCann World Group Philippines speaks up after the tourism department cut ties with them over an alleged plagiarized commercial. McCann in a statement says it only found out about the DOT's decision during a June 15 press conference of tourism officials and has yet to receive a formal notification on the termination of the contract. McCann says, quote, While we regret the decision of the DOT to discontinue our partnership, we continue to believe that it is in the best interest of all parties to discuss a sensible resolution to this matter. It adds, quote, we respect any decision made by the DOT, and while regrettable, we thank the DOT for the opportunity to serve and we wish them continued success in their future endeavors. The DOT on Thursday announced it will cut ties with McCann following criticism the department received over the site's commercial that was supposed to kick off the new Philippine tourism campaign. Social media users said the commercial was similar to a South African tourism commercial. The DOT also said it will revert to its previous slogan, It's More Fun in the Philippines, junking the new slogan that was used in the Macan commercial, Experience the Philippines. Foreign Secretary Alan Cayetano says the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia will meet on terrorism next week to forge a team effort against extremists. The meeting will be hosted by the Philippines where clashes have raged between government troops and local terrorists in Marawi City since May 23. Cayetano says the three countries' foreign affairs officials and top security personnel will attend the meeting. He does not specify the date of the meeting, saying the event is still being arranged. Cayetano says, quote, The aim is to make a group effort, an inter-country effort, a team effort, rather than each country fending off extremism by themselves. He adds that the three countries will discuss how the Association of Southeast Asian Nations can play a major role in preventing the spillover of terrorism from Iraq and Syria. The Trump administration on Thursday announces it is canceling an Obama-era policy to allow millions of illegal immigrant parents of children born in the United States to stay in the country. The 2014 policy, known as the Deferred Action for Parents of Americans and Lawful Permanent Residents, or DAPA, aimed to help the families of so-called dreamer children to stay together without the threat of deportation. It was never implemented after 26 states successfully filed a suit in the Texas Federal District Court to block it. The United States Supreme Court let the lower court ruling stand last year after a 4-4 tie vote. DAPA would have affected as many as 4 million people. But the Homeland Security Department says it was rescinding the policy with the support of the Justice Department. 
It comes amid President Donald Trump's tough crackdown on illegal immigration. But the Homeland Security Department also says it is leaving in place a 2012 Obama policy known as DACA, or Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, that allowed people who enter the country illegally as children to stay and study or work on two-year renewals. Mm-hmm.